So once again, uh, good afternoon. Uh, today we want to discuss local compactness. So we already discussed uh, compactness in the case of matrix space, sequential compactness and uh, limit point compact. So along with uh, these concepts, there is a, another concept which is known as local compactness. It is similar to the motion we discussed for the connectedness, local connectedness. So that is basically a property locally. So it is around a point. Uh, uh, we will discuss these things like uh, continuity at a particular point that is a local property. <coughs> so let us discuss the definition. So a topological space X uh, is uh, locally compact. at a particular point x if it satisfies the following property so the property is that there exists uh, two sets the one first set is compact <clears throat> compact subset c and another set is open set V of X, V of the given topological space such that uh, we have this relation X belongs to the open set, which is a subset of compact set. And uh, sometimes this both can be same also, V and C, we will see that. So this property says that whenever we have a topological space X in which we have any point X, so at X, at small x, this space is locally compact. If we can find two sets, one is the open set V and a compact set C, around x so that x is containing v containing c so for every x we can find a pair v and c containing x then we say that uh, that the locally uh, the space is locally compact at each x so that is the next definition that the space x that is a topological space is locally compact so the enter space is locally compact if it is locally compact at every point so if it is locally compact at every x in x right <coughs> So, so this is uh, basically the locally compactness. Let us see one, one or two examples of such spaces. The so first example we will take is, uh, let us take any compact topological space. So if I take uh, X B A compact topological space. So X is compact topological space. That means every open cover of X has a finite sub cover. Right. So X satisfies that particular property. So now <clears throat> we uh, will observe that every such compact space is itself a locally compact space. So why? Because if we take any point x in x since the entire space itself is compact right and uh, and the entire space x itself is open also 
right so then we can take x belongs to b which is subset of c where v and c both we are taking as x itself because x is already compact so we can take c equal to x and uh, if we take v also equal to x then v and c are same so they will that we will be subset of c right so in the compact topological space for every x we can choose v and c to be the x itself and therefore it satisfies the property of locally compact space that every x belongs to the capital x so therefore capital x is locally compact at each x in x and since it is locally compact at each x in x therefore it is locally compact space topological space so uh, this is the first example basically what we proved here is that uh, every compact space is locally compact therefore every compact topological space is always locally compact right so <coughs> x is locally compact and then <coughs> the converse is not true actually we will see one uh, simple example so if i take x to be the real line and uh, uh, consider the standard topology on x then x is a topological space or that is a real line with the standard topology so question is can i find on on a real line if i choose any point x can i find for each x an open set v which is contained in the compact set compact subset of real line so we know that compact subset of real line is nothing but closed and bounded subset of real line right so for example the closed intervals are compact and what are the open subsets of uh, real line they are the they are the open intervals or arbitrary union of open intervals right so v is for v we have a choice that it is open subset of r so for each x can i find a open set which contain that particular x and which is contained in the for example closed interval so as we know that that is possible that whatever x we choose on the real line then we can always find a open set around that which is the epsilon neighborhood so if i take epsilon is 1 that will be x minus 1 to x plus 1 so this is open set which contains x and we can always find a closed interval which contains the given open interval in particular what we can take is we can take the closure of that so that will be this interval right closure of this set is this so this is closed set and it is bounded also so therefore it is a compact space so in particular if i take x equal to 1 x equal to 1 then x belongs to x minus 1 minus 1 is 0 to 2 and that is containing the closed interval 0 to 2 right 
so this is true not only for x equal to 1 but for every x uh, this is the proof so for every x we can find a open set which contains x which is contained in the convex space therefore x is locally compact at each x belongs to x in in this example when we consider the x to be real line with the standard topology so therefore x equal to r is a locally compact space with respect to the standard topology and uh, then if you remember we have discussed earlier that the set of real numbers is not compact space right so note that x equal to r with the standard topology is not compact so r is not compact but it is locally compact so it satisfies the property which is known as locally compactness at every point small x in r so now the question is that can we convert a complex complex uh, <coughs> complex is uh can, can we convert the locally complex space into complex space because we know that the, the set of real numbers r is not complex but suppose i need a complex space which contains r so can we make a r uh, by adding some points and can we convert r as a complex space bigger set as a complex space so that procedure is known as the one point compactification so you may have come across this procedure one point compactification so that is usually uh, related to complex analysis also that uh, using stereographic projection we can uh, convert the complex plane or the r2 plane into the complex compact topological space so the same procedure we will discuss here so stereographic projection uh, is nothing but you have uh, you are in the r3 r3 plane and uh, you have a sphere and in this sphere uh, this is the pole so if we if we take any point of the upper upper pole if i if i consider a line starting from the pole on the of the sphere and if if i join if this line is not <clears throat> uh, kind of horizontal then it will intersect with xy plane as well as it will intersect with the point on the sphere so let's say this is the point on the sphere which this line intersects and uh, xy plane it passing through this point so basically every line passing from this pole uh, which intersects the sphere that that point we can correspond to this particular point of the x y plane so every such line gives a one one correspondence between every point of the sphere with the point of the x y plane so every point of the sphere we can associate with the point of the x y plane except this particular point 
that is pole so that pole is the distinguished point if we can add to the plane we will get the sphere and sphere is the compact space because it is a closed and bounded space so that is the idea of one point compactification so let us see the the actual definition of uh, the topological definition of that <clears throat> so we start with a kind of xy plane so xy plane is locally compact right similar the proof is similar to r is locally compact so let x be a locally compact house of space so half of space means we are given two points we can get a two digit open set containing these two points and their intersection is empty so we can separate two points of the space by disjoint neighborhoods so x is a locally compact house of space we will consider a set y which contains x and it contains a point which we will uh, call infinity we will denote by infinity so where this is a distinguished point which is outside x so it is kind of extended uh, real number system we add infinity right the same way so on this new set which we have constructed depending on x we will try to define the topology on y so let tau infinity that is notation for this topology so that is a topology on y consisting of of sets so first set is that uh, so tau infinity is a collection of subsets of y it contains the following sets so first type of sets is that it contains the open sets u of x so x is a topological space so tau x is a, uh, the topology of the given space x so each element of tau x we will include in tau infinity or we can also denote by tau y but uh, since we have added infinity we are calling this using notation t infinity and t infinity contains all this type of set as well as the second type of set that is the comp complements of the compact sets so it is y minus c where c is the compact space so c is a compacting x so x is a topological space so we know open subsets of x so using that we can find compact subsets of x and uh, c is such a set so if c is compact in x y minus c belongs to tau infinity so that is definition of tau infinity it contains two types of set all u and all y minus c so we call this set y with this particular topology to be the one point compactification of x so whenever we have a <coughs> we have a topological space x which is locally compact house of we will get a a new topology on uh, y which is x unit infinity and uh, 
that topology on y is nothing but uh, the collection of all open subset of x that is topology on x union the complements of compact spaces so that is y minus c where c is compact in x so this is essentially tau infinity so uh, today what we want to check is that tau infinity we have mentioned that it is a topology on y but uh, actually we need to verify that so that is what we are going to do uh, now that tau infinity is a topology on y so we define the family tau infinity that is collection of uh, collection of sets but uh, then we need to check that it is actually topology that means null set belongs to that y belongs to that it is closed under finite intersection and it is closed under arbitrary union so all these things we will uh, check now so let us start uh, one by one so proof of the claim is that we start with the first property so first we want to show that null set belongs to tau infinity so we already know that uh, tau infinity contains tau x and tau x is a topology tau x is topology means null set belongs to tau x right so since tau x is a topology on x it contains null set and tau x is a subset of tau infinity right because tau infinity contains all elements of tau x along with these new sets so tau x is subset of tau infinity so therefore phi belongs to tau infinity so null set belongs to tau infinity now next thing we want to check is that y also belongs to tau infinity so y we can write as y minus phi right because phi is compact space phi is trivially a compact space <coughs> so phi satisfies the property that every open cover has a finite uh, subcover trivially because it doesn't have any element so therefore phi is compact and uh so phi is compact means uh, it is of this form second type of form right so it belongs to therefore the y belongs to tau infinity so any element which is complement of compact set it belongs to tau infinity so we prove the first property of the topology tau infinity now let us try to prove the second property that is closed under uh, finite intersection so we want to prove in this step that tau infinity is closed under finite intersection so closed under finite intersection that uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we need to see and then uh, we have already observed earlier that uh, to, sh uh, to show a, a topology so finite intersection it is enough to show that if we take any two elements of the topology uh, the intersection belongs to topology so if this is satisfied then if you take any elements and take intersection that also belongs to topology by the metric in them so therefore we only need to check that if i take any two elements of tau infinity its intersection also belongs to tau infinity and in tau infinity 
the the sets are of these two types either it is element of tau x in local set or y minus c so any uh, any any two sets we we take from this two particular collection we need to show that its inter intersection belongs to tau infinity that means it is of either first type or of the second type so that we need to check in this particular part so if we take both the sets of the first type that means if you want you to uh, in tau infinity which is element of tau x then <coughs> if u1 and u2 belong to tau x means u1 uh, intersection u2 also belongs to tau x why because tau x is topology x right so it is closed under finite intersection so if both the sets belongs to tau x intersection belongs to tau x and then we know tau x is subset of tau infinity so therefore u1 intersection u2 belongs to tau infinity so therefore u1 intersection u2 belongs to tau infinity so if both the sets uh, which we are selecting element of tau infinity both from tau x then intersection is tau x Uh, similarly, if these both sets of tau x are, for example, they are complement of the compact space. So, if uh, we take y minus c one and y minus c two belongs to tau infinity, where c one and c two are compact subsets of Of x, so if you do, if you choose such a two sets, then what we need to show is their intersection is also belongs to tau infinity. So let us see what is the uh, its intersection. So y minus c one intersection y minus c two. So now by the uh, By the set theory, we can write this as y minus. So this is complement of C1 intersection, complement of C2. So that is complement of C1 union C2. So now this particular set, we need to show it is in tau infinity. So that means there are. If we want to show it is in tau infinity, we have to show either it is open subset of X or it is of this form. so if i want to show it is of this form i need to show whatever i get here should be compact so in, in this particular example i want to show that this set belongs to tau infinity so that means this thing i need to show it is a compact set if i can show that it is compact then y minus c belongs to tau infinity by the definition of tau infinity so and and that is true because c1 and c2 are compact subsets of x so what we get is c1 union c2 is also compact so for example if i take a particular locally compact housed of space so for example if it i take x equal to r then what are the compact subsets of of r the compact subsets of r are closed and bounded sets so if i take two closed and bounded sets there then if we take union of them then it is also closed and bounded 
because union of two closed set is closed and union of two bounded set is also bounded so therefore it is compact space so uh, even we can prove this using open cover also but particularly here we are considering we are looking at the one point complexification mainly for the x equal to r n so <laughs> whenever c1 c2 are complex subset of locally complex space x which is uh, then c1 union c2 is also compact so this is compact and then y minus this set is uh, also belongs to tau infinity so whenever we have a compact space its complement belongs to tau infinity by the definition of tau infinity so for this type of set also we have proved this first we proved that u1 and u2 in tau x then intersection is in tau infinity now if, if we take these two elements of tau infinity the intersection is also in tau infinity so now third type is that if i take one set of this form and second set of from the second collection so whether its intersection is in tau infinity or not so let us verify that so the third type of intersection is u intersection y minus c where u is element of tau x and c is a compact subset in x <coughs> so now we want to show that this set this particular set also belongs to tau infinity so for that we need to use some result of some idea from the set theory so i have topological space x in which if i add infinity i will get y right and then we have two subsets of x one is c other is u so then what will be the set the set will be u intersection complement of c in y so that will be basically this set this particular set right and then this set we can also write as note that u intersection y minus c we can also using set theory we can write it as u intersection x minus c when we take complement of c x and then we take the intersection in u we will get the same set so now uh, we have written the t1 set in this form so now can we show it is in t, t infinity so if it is in t infinity either we need to show it belongs to tau x or it is of the form complement of complex set so in, here we will show it is actually belongs to tau x so let us see how it belongs to tau x so we already know u belongs to tau x so if we can show this also belongs to tau x then we can use tau x is topology so intersection belongs to tau x so what we know is that know that uh, we know that c is compact subset of the topological space x which is compact hausdorff so x the topological space x which we are taking which is locally compact we are also assuming it is a hausdorff space so if x is 
how it of space and c is a complex subset of that then we have one reason that every complex subset of house of space is a closed right so that result we will use here that um, from a known result c is closed so now once c is closed its complement will be open so therefore x minus c is open so c is closed where c is closed in x so x minus c is open in x right so that means x minus c belongs to tau x and we already know u belongs to tau x so therefore u intersection x minus c belongs to tau x and then we know tau x is subset of tau infinity so whether you take two sets from the first collection second collection or from the both collection in all the cases the intersection belongs to tau infinity so therefore tau infinity is closed under finite intersection so the same thing we are going to check for the arbitrary union now so third property is that uh, tau infinity is closed under arbitrary union so this we want to we want to verify so what we will do is we will do the same way so first we will take the every element of tau x then tau x is closed under arbitrary union so therefore its union also belongs to tau x right so if u alpha is a collection of open sets which is collection is in tau x intersection tau infinity then its union union u alpha belongs to tau x uh, which is subset of tau infinity why because tau x is is a topology so it is closed under arbitrary union so if we choose any arbitrary collection of elements of tau in infinity which are open subsets of x then its union is in tau infinity now we'll consider another connection which is a collection of complex subsets so that is all the sets belongs to the second family so second family means of this form y minus c so <clears throat> let we we consider the collection c beta b beta belongs to j with the collection of compact sets in x so if we take such a collection then uh then we get the corresponding collection y minus c beta uh which is subset of tau infinity so these are the all elements of tau infinity arbitrary collection of the second type so can we show arbitrary union of this is uh, belongs to tau infinity or not so note that if you take arbitrary union of this elements y minus c beta then by the set theory we can write this as y minus intersection of beta c beta now once again we will use the property of compact subset of real line or rn that if we have a collection of compact subsets of rn 
then uh, its arbitrary intersection is also compact why because each uh, the the compact subset of rn means it is closed and bounded so if each c beta is closed and bounded and if we take arbitrary intersection of that then we know that arbitrary intersection of closed and uh, of closed set is also closed right and arbitrary intersection of of bounded set is also bounded so therefore it is a compact subset of rn right so note that here yeah. intersection of compact set is complex so therefore this is a compact set and since this is a complex complex space it's a <clears throat> it's it's complement we can take which is element of tau infinity so <clears throat> now the only uh, thing which is uh, which is remaining is the third part so in the, in the third part what we will do is we will take the the sets one of the first type the second of the second type set so let us uh, try to do that so in the in the third third type set what we will do is or we will consider the collection which is collection of open subsets of first type as well as second type so finally every union of the form so suppose we take the union of the sets of the second type so that will be of this form right and then we take its union with the sum sets of the first type that is union of u delta so then in this case every such family we can write as uh, by using the argument which we use we can write this complement union of the complement as complement of the intersection right and uh, uh, then every such set its union is also also open we can write as u right so that means this is basically of the form y minus c union u where u is nothing but the union of u delta and c is nothing but the intersection of c gamma right so what we uh, we observed is that every uh, every element of tau infinity when we take arbitrary union we will get this type of set which is always of this form and then we know that uh, arbitrary intersection of complex space is compact and arbitrary union of open set is open so therefore to show uh, all this type of union is uh, belongs to tau infinity so what we need to show is we need to show that y minus c union u belongs to tau infinity when u is element of tau x and c is the complex set and c is the compact setting x so <clears throat> so i think this is uh, enough for today i will continue